Hi, I'm Chuck Carlton of the Dallas Morning News, along with the Queen of College Station, Kate Aropolis here, talking Texas A&M football. After going 3-5 and five in SEC play last season, the projections for the Aggies have been all over the map this season, from finishing sixth in the toughest nails SEC West <laughs> to winning the toughest division in college football. Has Kevin Sumlin made the right adjustments in Aggie life? Well, that's the big question, right? And it starts with the defense. And the biggest adjustment Kevin Sumlin made in the offseason was hiring John Chavis from LSU, as we know, the new defensive coordinator. The question now is how much of an impact can he make and how quickly? We know he has some great defensive ends. He's called Miles Garrett and Deshaun Hall, probably two of the best in college football. But does he have the linebackers he needs? Does he have the cornerbacks? He likes to play a lot of press man coverage. Does he have those guys on his roster? And, hey, but maybe if they just make a little bit of a difference, make some strides this year, will that be enough if the offense is what it needs to be and, and has been traditionally under Kevin Sumlin, but maybe hasn't been uh, last year? As excited as, excited as the Aggies fans are about Kyler Murray coming in, the highly touted quarterback out of Allen, question is, Kyle Allen's a pretty good quarterback. Right. What's the quarterback situation? How much are we going to see of Kyler Murray? I mean, the smart money has to be on Kyle Allen running out there to start the, start um, at NRG Stadium September 5th against Arizona State. That's a tough game uh, to open with for anybody. Even Kyler Murray, 42-0 as a high school phenom in Texas, you'd have to think that the guy that has started five games and uh, was MVP of the bowl game is going to get that first start. But Will we see Kyler Murray this season? I think that's going to be the ongoing question. All right, bottom line, in the SEC West, with John Chavis, with a little uncertainty at quarterback, where do the Aggies finish? I'm going to predict 8-4 and four with, I think, some surprises, some surprising wins, and then maybe some losses that Aggies didn't see coming either. We'll find out soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Chuck Carlton with Kateropolis.